craving, it, its desires, the thing it wants to do. It wants to be wicked. It wants to be evil. It wants to be nasty. It wants to slap somebody. That's your flesh. The spirit man is the one Jesus said, turn the other cheek. Your flesh can't turn the other cheek. If you're walking in your flesh and somebody hits you, you're going to hit them back. Y'all all right? The preacher ever get Psalms 36? Yes, sir. Read it, sir. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. Before his eyes, I know the wicked don't fear God. He's saying, in my heart, I know the wicked don't fear God because they won't worship God. They won't give him praise. They won't give him glory. They won't give him honor. They won't even respect God. Anybody, oh, 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 around my age. <laughs> Anybody around my age, uh, 60, 61 and older. Y'all remember back in the days when, when the preacher come by and, and then you stop cussing? You stop smoking? You straighten out everything. Hey, sir, how you doing? You became religious. Bless you, sir. They might as well go into church, but they feared God. But people are wicked today. Curse you out, the preach out, and everybody else. Wicked. People have gone from sin to wickedness. The wicked, they don't fear God. They don't care about God. They don't care about you. That's why people are just shooting people. Killing people because there's a wickedness in people's heart. They don't care. They don't fear God. I don't care about going to hell. I'll go to hell. It don't matter to me. Amen. They're wicked. They don't care. They don't fear God. How many in here fear God? I fear God. Don't you fear God? Amen. I fear God. Praise God. Some of y'all are like, you ain't supposed to fear God. You scared to lose your job. <laughs> like, you don't act this. <laughs> If both man call you in the office and tell you you're going to get fired, you're you about to cry. Talking about doing, you don't fear, yeah, yeah, you fear, you fear losing your job, you fear losing your money. God made everything. He's awesome. The Bible say, uh, the Bible say, the, be, to begin, the beginning of wisdom, the fear of God is the beginning of your wisdom. Your wisdom starts when you begin to fear God. Not just reverence God, fear God. Anybody hear me? The people came and said, Moses, we, we want to hear God. We want to talk to God. Moses, you, you talked all right, but we want to hear God ourselves. God said, okay, Moses, we'll talk to the people. They want to hear me. They want to hear me. Let them come hear me. Let them come to the mountain. Tell the people to wash up. Wash their clothes. I'm a holy God. I'm a clean God. Don't be, you and your wife separate for three days. I'm a holy God. You're coming before me. You can't come any kind of way. I'm God. Yes. He's clean God. Yes, he is. Holy God. Holy. God began to talk. And it sounds so horrible, terrible, and it sounds so scary, and it sounds so awesome, mighty, and power. Sounds like trumpet. Sounds like earthquake. Sounds like every. And the people began to be a, just his voice alone. The people were scared to death. They said, please, Moses, tell God to hush. Please tell him to be quiet. And you telling me we ain't supposed to fear God? They heard just his voice. Hallelujah. Anybody ever had uh, uh, television? And, you know, yo, anybody 61 and older? <laughs> remember when they had black and white TVs? I, mean, I remember when we first got a television back in Yamacraw Village in Savannah, Georgia. And, uh, you know, I must have been two years old. I, mean, I, I can remember. Maybe three. And uh, we got the TV and we sat in the, my parents sat in the living room. We all watching the TV. And we looking at it, black and white TV. We was, listen, we were so ignorant about technology, there used to be a little film come on the TV. We were watching it through the film. <laughs> you know, with the words made in America. <laughs> Y'all all right? We, somebody said, you're supposed to take that off. What I'm saying is, y'all remember how the picture was? And how, how another TV came out, used to have a little 13-inch uh, TV. Went from 13 to 25-inch. Y'all know the flesh can't get enough. 
35, 35 was good. Then the picture got clear. Then they got something called 4K. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Now they got 8K. Anybody out there? You can see all the canes you want, them, but you got to see them with these eyeballs that God made. I don't care how clear the 8K get, but it ain't as clear as this. They still working on 8K, all these kind of Ks, but it's going to take these beautiful things here that God made to let you see how clear it is. And it ain't clearer than what God made. God is awesome. He's mighty. He's powerful. They trying to catch up with what God already done. God bless you with your eyesight so you can see. Amen. Your ears so you can hear. Praise God. And these men, men are inventing things. Praise God. So you can hear it with the ears. But whatever they do. All right. Anybody older than 61? Y'all remember the vinyl records? Come on, y'all help me out, y'all old people. I know I'm just going with my age, baby. I know they had them back way back then. But, but, but the vinyl records. All right, let's do it like this here. We worshiping God. Raise your hand if you remember when CDs came out. Raise your hand if you remember when CDs came out. CDs, CDs. All right, so y'all know what records are. And you hear the scratching. Get down, get. Y'all remember that? And the rappers get, they got it, they do the, you know, turn around. Remember that? Remember when the CD came out? See how clear it got? But your ears that God made already knew what clear was. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, but the wicked don't care. They won't worship God with all the beautiful things that God has done. God has blessed you. God has caused increase and overflow in your life. God has blessed you. God has caused increase and overflow in your just your body alone. You ought to worship God and give him praise. Don't be like the wicked and don't bless God and don't give God praise. Don't give God glory. And don't give God honor. Some of us older folk, we have learned, praise God, how God is bringing on blessings into our lives. Yes. Amen. Amen. Anybody older than 61? Y'all put a, y'all done caught on by now. Y'all put a yes, sir. It's a lot of y'all in here. Uh-huh. See this? How many remember when this came out? Remember how big it used to be? Hello? But you're hearing, it's clear now, ain't it? But you're hearing with the ears. I don't care how clear it gets. It's going to always have to use these wonderful, beautiful ears that God has made. That's right, that's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. The phones used to be connected to the wall. That's right, that's right. And if you wanted to talk to somebody in private, you had to go in your closet, pull a cord in, <laughs> close the door, say, leave me long, Cheryl, I'm talking. These young people don't know none of that. And so they don't know that, but they're, still, they're, not, they're not being taught about God either. Amen. That's right. That's right. How many remember prior in school? The young people don't know that. So they're not being taught the fear of God, the reverence of God. How many people have got slapped in the mouth and start thundering in life? <laughs> Mama say, sit down, boy. God talking. You like God talking. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Remember that? And then the next time you heard thunder and lightning, you sat down because you respected your parents and you respected God. They don't teach people that no more. They teach them science. Oh, that's two clouds bumping together. <laughs> All right. They don't fear God. People don't fear God. They don't know there is a God. That's right. They don't reverence God. They don't know. So our job is to be the salt of the earth and to worship God. They don't know what God has done for, for us, what God has brought us from. They don't know. So how many older than 61? I don't remember when the microwave came up. See, y'all seen a lot of new stuff, ain't y'all? See, young people don't realize this stuff wasn't always here. 
our generation saw it come. We see it, we've seen it show up. We've seen the old and the new. Our generation have seen some things come to pass. We've seen the, the word of God come to pass in our lives. We've seen it. We've seen sin grow from a little baby. Sin is a big old grown person now. Anybody know what I'm talking about? How many remember sin was a little boy? Huh? You got in trouble in school for chewing bubble gum. Skipping in the hallway. Amen. Now they're shooting guns. Children bringing guns to school. Sin has grown up. And the people are wicked. And they don't fear God. We need to fear God. We need to love God and fear God. Read, sir. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes mm. until his iniquity be found to be hateful. He think he's something. Wicked people think they're wise. Mm -hmm. Wicked people think they're smart. That's right. Wicked people don't think God knows nothing. Mm -hmm. Don't think the preacher know anything. Wicked people. Amen. When, the, when the God give your word to preach to the people, to tell the people, wicked people, they know it all. Preacher, they don't take all of that. Preacher, I don't believe that. Whether you believe it or not, God's word is true. And God's word will come to pass. God told us when we were small in the church. How many grew up in the church? You small and they taught you in Sunday school. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming soon. They told us that the world was going to get wickeder and wiser. How many remember that? And we grew up and we saw it. Coming up. How many remember that? Amen. How many remember one homosexual? Just one in the neighborhood. Just one in the neighborhood. How many remember that? Just one. Every town had one that was out. What you see now. Sin has grown up. And the so-called wicked people, the so-called wise people, the Bible says they were professing themselves to be wise. They became fools. Anybody out there? I'm just telling you the truth. I ain't trying to put nobody down. They became fools. Fools have said in their heart, there is no God. It's a fool. You Whether you know it or not, it's a fool when a woman stands up and she don't know what she is. When a man stands up and don't know what he is, it's a fool. They're not telling you they're a fool, but they, that's crazy. But they know it's a dog. What's that? That's a dog. Boy, dog, a girl, dog. Oh, that's a, it's a girl. Only man's confused like that. Ain't that right? The horses run around sniffing the right one. The dogs run around sniffing. You know, dogs sniff anything. But he went and found out what he got. He gonna make the right decision. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I thought they say men like dogs. But when he find out what he got, he ain't crazy. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Dog may be horny, but he ain't crazy. He know what he is. But man has this mind that the devil wants to play with. The devil want to get in his mind and confuse his mind. The devil want to twist him. And God was so wise and so smart. He made laws to the people, the Jewish people. He said, now, this is God. This is the Old Testament. God said, now, a man should not wear that which pertaineth unto a woman. Then he tells you why. It is confusion. It's confusion. Because the child is going to see it and say, Mama got on heel. Daddy got on heel. He confused. Right? You know how you get a child and the child growing up, they want to, boy, little boy, want to put your shoes on the playhouse? Y'all be like, oh, that's so cute. Take them off. It's confusion. It's in your Bible. 
It's going to confuse his mind. And so now that people are so confused. They're having young kids. What are they doing? We want to have a hormone correction. Jimmy wants to be a girl. I don't know why I'm even on this subject. And the dumb parents, confused parents, put this child through this who don't even know his left from his right. Confusion. It's in your word. God taught us and he trained us. Don't. He said, I'm not the author of confusion. But we went with the world. Well, let's go with what the world say. Let's see what the world doing. Let's go with us. Hang out with the world. And the world got us people so confused. They think I'm prejudiced for just what I said. They think I'm hateful for what I said. And I'm just saying the truth. I'm just saying the truth. You ever went to Walmart and got you some grapes? Huh? And you got to the counter and the grape decided he want to be a cantaloupe? The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He has left off to be wise. And he, he, he can't even be wise anymore. And to do good. And now the poor women, the poor women, young women are trying to be good athletes. And trying to be good in sports. Anybody read the news? Y'all know what I'm talking about. They're trying to be good in sports and do good in sports. And the best girl on the team, the best girl on the team, and now some man decides he want to be on the team. But see, his lungs are bigger than her lungs. He's going to always win. But they're not wise. They don't care. They have a mission to destroy you and your children. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Evil men should wax worse and worse. I don't want to be an evil man. I don't care how much people say, well, you know, uh, he's he, he too hard of a preacher. I'm going to preach the word. I got to tell the people the truth. Because somebody told me the truth. Somebody told me the truth. I thank God for the truth because it's the truth that makes you free. I want the truth put inside of me so when a lie comes to me, I can reject the lie. You can only reject the lie when the truth is inside of you. Something don't sound right. You know how your mama is. She knew the truth. And you come in and say, what you, what, 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 what? Mama, I, mama, I, mama, I. Something don't sound right. Go take your clothes off. Some of y'all had them kind of mamas. I'll be there in a minute. And that minute looked like a whole hour. Jesus, help me, Lord God. You sweating about to die. Anybody remember what whoopings used to be? Real whoopings. Y'all remember real whoopings? I remember. I'm, 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 I'm trying not to be too long. But I remember when, when my friends got in trouble, they stole something from a store. They broke into a store and stole something. And they stole something. And the, the, the problem is they stole candy. And they left a trail all the way to the house. They dropped candy all the way to the house. And so, so they got caught. And the police came back when the police was the police. And the police talked to the parents. Y'all remember the police was the police? They said the boys done broke into something. The boys done did something. We take care of this matter. And the mama said, don't you worry. We're going to give them the whooping of their life. And me and my brothers downstairs waiting on the whooping. Yes. Y'all didn't used to want your friends to get a whooping? Oh, yes, because so we know what whooping was. That woman got that boy and she spanked it three times. we like, what? My mom would have killed us. We would have still had scars on us for doing something like that. Y'all hear what I'm saying? People don't chastise their children. People let their children do anything. 